list of eight offbeat 90-day fiancé cares who need to be cast in the next new episodes of Pillow Talk, from the most popular to the most controversial. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and keep watching for more details. The 90-day fiancé pillow top cast could do with a refresh and several new duos are ready to take their place. One of the most unique 90-day fiancé spin-offs to come out of the franchise, Pillow Talk shows previous cast members nestled under covers while they binge-watch new episodes and provide commentary. The reaction show is also a great way to recap what happened in the recent episode, and watching their favorite pairs comment on other couples is entertainment at its best. Pillow Talk has been on air since 2019. Since then, several twosomes have come and gone and have dished on the drama on screen with their special flair. Some of these pairs have managed to make a mark and stand out from the rest. Still, not everyone gets the coveted spot on Pillow Talk. It's interesting how the duos aren't just couples that are romantically involved, but also feature brothers, sisters, parents, siblings, or even exes turned best friends. Yara and Angela first came face-to-face -face during the 90-day fianza. Happily ever after. Season 7 Tell All. Angela, as usual, was throwing her weight around at the reunion and had made up her mind to scream at everyone who came in her path. Angela started hurling expletives at Usman as soon as she entered the set. But as the fight heated up, it was Yara who decided to take a stand. Yara had had enough of Angela bullying her co-stars and sternly told Angela to sit down. Angela turned to Yara while getting in her face and asked. Yara was applauded for keeping her composure while Angela continued to yell at her. Yara and Angela were then cast for 90 Day, the last resort where Yara came close to divorcing Jovi because of his night out with the Mima. Yara was upset that Jovi chose to go out and get drunk with Angela rather than spend time with her. However, Angela and Yara buried the hatchet and became close as they spent more time together in Florida. Angela and Yara's enemies to friends arc is not something one gets to see often in the 90-day fiancé franchise. Mom and child duos have always been a hit on pillow talk. Fans have watched Jamal Menzies with Kim Menzies in recent years, while Colt Johnson and Debbie Johnson have entertained viewers with their banter in the past. It's been a long time since Rebecca was seen in any franchise show, while she continues living a peaceful married life with her husband, Zeed Hakimi, in Georgia. While Rebecca and Zeed are a pair that fans have always loved and adored, Watching Rebecca share the couch with her daughter Tiffany could be a welcome change. Tiffany has been a part of her mom's 90-day fiancé journey from the start and has watched Rebecca make the most unwise decisions one after the other in her life. Tiffany came across as mature while she wished for Rebecca to grow up and act like an adult. While they were not always on the same page, Tiffany and Rebecca have made a great team as a mom and daughter do in the franchise. Tiffany is also a trained makeup artist and hairstylist, and fans wouldn't mind getting some tips while the duo offers their commentary on Pillow Talk. The best part of Pillow Talk is the episodes featuring David and Annie, who become everyone's favorite couple thanks to the spin-off. David and Annie have come a long way since their 90-day fiancé debut, they're on their way to having a baby soon and fans can't stop commenting on how blessed the two are as a couple. While David prepares to become a father for the fourth time, it would be fun to watch him spend more time on camera with his older children. Ashley was up front when it came to accusing her father of being a deadbeat. Ashley later revealed that she had a very complicated relationship with her father. They were very close when Ashley was younger, but David was always gone when his kids needed him. Ashley saw how David only cared about his own travels in his life. David was never like a dad to his kids while growing up. He was more like a brother to them. Now that the dust has settled and things are better between David and his family, 
Learning how this dynamic with Ashley has evolved will be a treat for longtime 90-day fiancé viewers. Pillow Talk isn't Pillow Talk without David and Annie, but it's time to switch things up. While David could invite the cameras into his home and reveal the nature of his relationship with Ashley now, Annie could find herself a new Pillow Talk maid, and a great candidate would be her own brother, Jordan. Jordan was introduced in the special spin-off David and Annie. After the 90 days after Annie expressed a wish to adopt her teenage brother Jordan and her cousin sister Amber. Sadly, Jordan wasn't too keen on coming to America, leaving his life in Thailand behind. Jordan didn't want to go to America. He was 15 and didn't want to leave his girlfriend to start a new life in a foreign country. Jordan wanted a life away from fame and fortune, and wowed fans with his decisions at such a young age. While Jordan might never move to the U.S. Annie, keeps traveling back and forth from her homeland. Pillow Talk episodes filmed in Annie's native village with her younger brother would be a refreshing change of scenery for fans while they get to understand Annie's life and loved ones before 90 Day Fiancé better. Julian appeared on the show as a supporting cast member in Debbie's storyline. The police officer has caught the eye of several 90 Day Fiancé female celebs, such as Jen Bakker, who wanted to become Debbie's daughter-in-law. Julian's serious demeanor and protective nature towards his mom are heartwarming. He has the potential for a great romantic storyline with other single cast members who'd want Julian to take care of them as he does of his sweet mom. Julian's presence is calming, but he also brings the drama thanks to his inquisitive nature, especially about Debbie's prospective partners. Julian wants Debbie to watch out, as Debbie makes it clear that she doesn't need Julian's advice as she's seen more summers. However, Debbie is known to make silly decisions, and Julian knows exactly what his mom's faults are. The duo has been a part of Pillow Talk before, but they have gained more popularity since Debbie's 90 Day. The single life shenanigans with Ruben the Cuban. Julian getting increasingly frustrated with his mom's stubbornness is comedy at its finest, and Debbie's one-liners on the pillow top couch are the cherry on the cake. Riley and Kim became the subject of romance rumors after he openly flirted with her on an Instagram Live in October 2023. Riley wanted to take Kim out on a date. He said his father already thought of Kim as his daughter-in-law. Kim had blushed and played it coy, but the couple were spotted together enjoying each other's company in November 2023 while they celebrated Tyree Mollett's birthday. Funnily enough, Riley addressed Kim's son Jamal as a son on social media, which further fueled the couple's dating speculations. By December 2023, Riley told the world he had a new girlfriend. In January 2024, Kim posted a series of pictures to announce she and Riley were going to be on Pillow Talk. This post put a rest to the rumors in Riley, too, revealed he was dating a woman called Lexi, who was a cigar enthusiast like him. Kim and Riley seemed like platonic friends when they shared the couch. Kim was all smiles while interacting with Riley and fans couldn't help but notice their chemistry. Although Kim may keep denying their connection, perhaps it'll take her a second pillow talk stint to realize she and Riley are the perfect match. Claire gave Rob Warren the nickname Rob the Knob, and it's what all fans call the 90-day fiancé star ever since. Claire never approved of Sophie's choice to marry Rob. She tried her best to get her daughter to not move to the U.S., and now that Sophie and Rob have separated, Claire had her biggest, told you so moment. Claire was a single mom raising Sophie in Spain, which is why both of them are thick as thieves. However, Sophie also had to watch her mom struggle with her drug addiction when she was little. The mom and daughter duo is not going anywhere for a long time. Sophie segments with Rob in 90 Day Fianza. Happily ever after, were already filmed before Sophie's debut, which reveals how much potential she showed as a cast member to the network. 
Sophie is currently filming 90 Day, the last resort with Rob in Arizona, and it wouldn't be surprising if Claire accompanied her there. Claire might not be a fan favorite because of her meddlesome nature, but when she's with her 90 Day fiance star daughter, the two make sure to deliver a plethora of entertainment.